Welcome, friends! It is I, your old Suscarf, and it's time for another Hearthstone! Why are we doing more Hearthstone? Because it's fun! Simple as that. <laughs> and I'm gonna try to do a new deck here, and we're gonna see three matches with it, and we'll see how good or bad an idea it is with this, because I got a couple uh, warrior cards with uh, the last two booster packs I got from Marina, so I want to try them out and see how it works out. And this deck here, the focus here is called the Card Seeker. The idea is I have five card seeking cards, basically card draws, and use them to get to other things. Now I got two Gnomish Inventors, two Novice Engineers, and one Loot Hoarder. And the idea is with these guys in combination, I'll be able to get to the combos I want to do. One combination is Core Hound plus Charge, or Core Hound plus Warsong Commander. Warsong Commander and Core Hounds are, well, 10 mana to do, while Core Hound Command and the Charge is 7 mana to do. So I'm hoping for those combinations to cause some really bad hurt late in the game. And using the card draws along the way to get there. The other combination I have is I can do a, where is it, Berserker plus the Cruel Taskmaster, so that's a 7 there, and then I have the Blood Seal Raider plus the Arcanite uh, Reaper, which can be 5 and 2, so it's 7 again. So I have a lot of late game plans I have, not really good early game plans. My best early game plan is this guy right here, which is the Frothing Berserker, and hoping there's a lot of cards on the board. And using the... where is it? It is called the... did I take it out? No, I didn't. Yeah, it, I did take it out. No, there it is. Whirlwind! There it is. Everything gets hurt for one damage, making this guy freaking redonkulous. Those are the plans I'm going to go for using the, the draw cards to get there, and hopefully I pull it off. So let's get going out there. There are, of course, better decks I can make for Warrior, but I don't have the cards for them. So, let's get going! Alright, here we are. We got the first one. We got our warrior against a warlock, and we're probably going to get owned here. But we got two card draws already, so that'll give us a pretty good run towards what we want to get. And we got a charge, although we're not going to need that until mana 7, unless we had to use something early with it for clear. We're through weapons. We have two of the Arcanites and one of the, uh, was it Fury? Well, Fiery Axe? It's an axe of some kind, it's a 3 2. Okay, War Song. Well, we can't do anything this turn, so let's go there. Now, Warlocks have a lot of life drain things they can do. They can do two damage cards. They have four damage cards. They have a lot of cards I'm worried about because they could kill my things pretty quick and easy, but hopefully we don't run into those. Go ahead and throw down this guy first. Then we'll throw down the Engineer next. Because if he clears out, fine, because I get a card regardless. The two damage is the threat so that he can kill it so I get my card. Now he's got a taunt in the way. We're going to go ahead and kill that. Because we're there for the card draw more than anything, and we'll, we'll get that wall all the way. So we put her down. Give us something good. Nope, charge. There we go. Hit this. There we go. These charges are for clear and for rush down. We'll see which one we do with them. Next turn, seeing what happens here, he's going to put down a card. Now we can either rush whatever he puts down or just hit him really hard. And we can take out that bear, but then this guy will die as well. So that's the question. Do I want to do that or not? Whirlwind, I want to use in combination with something else. Let's put down the taunt, actually. That should be a good taunt there, and let's just leave that alone for now. Use the taunt to kill that bear if we can, and then we'll just break through using her and the charge to do some more damage there, most likely. Oh, the cobra. Oh, we're going to want to kill that now. All right, we, we can't use her yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to kill the bear, and then we're going to need to kill that cobra. We're going to have to charge that cobra down before... Because this cobra can kill anything. We don't want that to kill a, a strong card, so that's what we're going to have to do. So we're going to go ahead and just kill the bear. Use the charge and take that dang thing down, because that is a good card. They both die, but at least that's gone now. And do this. Save the whirlwind for now. We want to use that in combination with something else. So save that for now. If we can get the frothing, we can do something really good with that. So just hold it. It goes on here. Oh, kills him. Nice. Well played there. Good kill there. He, he kills and draws a card, so he negates what just happened right there. Now, okay, we got this guy. He'll be good for clear or for buffing something else. Like, we can buff this one using him. Just make him double buff there, but let's see here. We got six mana right now. We can put down a charge if we want, and we very well may do that. Or we put down him. We're going to put down him and strike again. And next turn, we can make that card very buff for a really hard hit. See, these two cards right here can make him really strong. We're going to... If he does not kill that card... We can buff that card very heavy next turn. So I'm hoping he doesn't kill that card. We can make it a, let's see here, two, five, 
More. No, good. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. He just made it buffer. And then he killed it. Damn! Ah, oh, well, there goes that. Well played. well played. We could have made that a very strong card there. A really good combination of those cards. Too bad it's gone. And now we can do an opening punch. Let's just hit him in the face because I am not happy about what just happened there. Charge it. And there's the combination. Bam! There you go. A lot of pain right there. He needs to just kill it or put a wall in the way. I mean, a taunt. But there, you just get the combination right there. Hit him really hard. He's got to do something about it. He can kill it, I think. I don't think he has. I don't think he has a. a uh, I don't think he has a convert card, but he does have some damage cards, like that one right there. That's a good card. It's hurting it now. He can maybe. Yeah, he does his other hellfire. He doesn't have any more hellfires to worry about. That's the good news there. Unfortunately for him, is we have a lot of things we can drop right now. We can drop. Yeah, we're gonna drop that. Okay, so here's what we're dropping. We're dropping him. We're wasting that card because I did it backwards. Whoops. We put her down. Yeah, I screwed that up. I meant to put that on her or put one of these and then do it, but I did it backwards. Whoops. I got overzealous and did it wrong. Whoops. I got overzealous and put the cards backwards. My bad. Put her down, put him in there, just buff her up, get a hit there. Ooh, that's something I don't want to see. All right. Oh dear, yeah, that's not good. He draws a card if he kills a kill. There you go, so he gets another card there. He doesn't have any more massive damage cards, though. That's the good news. So I'm going to kill that now. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do this. What? No, 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 what am I doing? Yeah, okay. Charge. I did this wrong. I did this wrong. But let's go ahead and just do this. Do that, kill that. And do this. And power up. There we go. So I could have done that better in that I could have just weakened it with the Whirlwind, killed it, and then I could have had both those cards hit for damage. So I could have done two more extra damage. He'd be down to five. Did that wrong. Oh shoot, that's something to worry about. Alright, well then I'm okay with what I just did. Whirlwind will be used on... Okay, alright. Okay, let's see here. Okay. Whirlwind to break that shield off. Cleave to hurt them some more. And we're going to kill that one. And next turn we'll kill that dang thing. Put the booty bay, hoping hoping that it'll take the damage instead of me. Get myself some more armor. And we're in very good position. He's got 7 HP left. I don't have any means of killing him until I get an Arcanite. As long as he doesn't have a taunt in the way. We will kill this next turn though. Arcanite plus this will be a great combination though. We just need those cards to show up. We have 10 mana. Looking pretty good. He's got... Oh jeez. He doesn't have any more clear for me to worry about, though. He's got little damage cards, but no big damage cards. See, like, okay, he kills that for one. Okay. That's fine. Uh, he's gonna hurt me for a good amount next turn. That's all right with me. I still got a lot of good cards that can come up. Oh, I can do this. There you go. Kills that. More armor. I'm gonna take four damage, but I'm all right there. And I still have some draw cards coming up. I have two more draw cards. No, three more draw cards left. Which can lead to other things. So I'm fine right now. He's got he can draw, but he won't because he's got so low mana. I mean low HP. He's giving himself more damage there. Not really worried about that. And now we can execute that so he has less damage on the board. There we go. I'm out of executes though, so if he has a big card coming up, I'm in trouble. But I might be able to handle it once I get some cards drawn. I still have another uh, cleave up, and that's the only cleave is I only got one cleave, so that's for, that's all done for that. But he's gonna slowly waste me down, but he can't draw any more cards, and he's got Arcanite up. Okay, it's done. There we go. Arcanite comes up. She comes up. She's a seven-three now. I take that out. Next turn, he dies from her or gets weakened by me, unless he's got another taunt coming up. He still has another life steal card, most likely. So. He can still extend his life for now. I still have the edge despite his three cards unless he's got a really good combination coming up. He's taking a chance here. He's just too beat up. Did he get the card he needs? That's the question. Yes, he did. He got that. There you go. But none of these are taunts, so I win the match. Well played. I win the match. Done. There we go. And it's done. Garrosh takes a kill himself, and it's over. Well done to us for the first round there, and that worked out pretty well. We got lucky there. And now I'll see you at the second one. Alright. Alright, we're fighting a paladin this time. Now, okay, so we've proven the deck can actually win a match. But can it beat 
a paladin. We will find out soon enough. There it is, fiery axe. It is called a fiery axe. Okay, we got plenty of good low cards here, so we should be able to do something here. Draw out her at the start, and then we'll get going from there. Now, paladins have consecration. They have uh, humility. They also have equality. Equality is everyone gets one HP or one attack, I can't remember. But humility is one attack, which means... Whatever big strong cards I have, have to be played that turn with charge. So when I make a strong card, I have to use them that turn or else they're just going to be useless. Now I've got two different things I can do. So let's go ahead and bring out the looter. He's a 2-1 and even if he dies, I got another card. So there you go, 2-1. Try to draw some sort of aggression there. Draw a uh, some sort of finish would be great. Although I don't actually know if Paladin has a finish card. There we go, he brings that guy out, okay. She would have been better for dealing with that. I probably should have thought of that. Go ahead and... Actually, I can kill him. Oh, no, no, no. Bring her out. Draw a card. I'm not going to waste him on that. Let's go ahead and let that guy live. Let's go ahead and do that. Two damage is better. Unless he buffs it. I don't think he can buff it this early, though. Actually, I'm not very... Uh, I don't really know Paladins that well, even though I fought a bunch of them. So I don't really know how many... What mana the buff is. It might be three mana. I'm not sure. I know there's a 3-3 three, three buff he can give him. Oh, hello. All right. Kills him. Gives me another card. That's fine with me. I got Execute now. Okay. I might have to just kill it and eat that damage because I know it's going to hurt me. So I might want to... I'm just going to eat that damage there. Or actually a Taunt would help out. Although it is a 2-3 so it'll die anyway. Oh, here it is. We'll use that to kill her. So we'll do that. Draw her damage up. Throw that off. Kill her. There we go. So now she's dead and we have a 2-2 on the board. So we still have Dominance on the board at the moment. We have one, two damage on him. He's got six cards. I've got six cards. I'll have seven on my turn. Right now, I think we're, I got a small advantage on him at the moment, but there are a lot of tricks that a Paladin can do. There's also secrets he can do. Could really mess me up. Okay, he's got a two force. He's going to have another card. Okay. And I can't kill that card this turn. Okay, let's see here. Now that'll be nice to have in the future. Actually, I could kill it and he'll live. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Take it out, making sure he has no no ground presence right there. Do more damage there. Took her out. Now he's got one HP. Consecration can kill these cards if he has it. If he whips out a paladin weapon, he can kill it. I don't think it's a good plan to do that. He also has a throw hammer, does three damage, but that'd be a waste to use it on a 4-1. So I don't know what he's gonna do here. I wish I could remember the names of some of these cards, but I knew I do know what they do. There's a card where you can throw a hammer at this guy for three damage and draw a card. Or this guy and draw a card. Oh! Oosh! Three damage there. I can kill her with him. I'll sacrifice him to do that. Or I can execute. Hmm. I got both Mexicans. So Though there are better cards to use that on. If only I had coin right now, I could put the war song down and have him out there and hit her. Well, no, I wouldn't, no, I wouldn't put that. What am I talking about? Okay, let's see here. We have options. We can put down this wall in the way and then go over and do more damage. And you know what? We're going to do that. She can't hit them, she can't hit me, she can only hit this guy. So there we go, more advantage there. We're rushing him down a good amount. He could have heal cards, he does have a 6 heal card. I mean, we don't know if he has a 6 heal card, but a paladin can have a 6 heal card. So she does sacrifice to take him out. I still have good ground presence. There's Consecration, kills both of my cards. I knew that was going to come at some point, so he has at least one more of those to worry about. So i got to make sure I have some cards that have more than 2 HP. There that is. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put down him and just use this to take care of that pallet, that little initiate there. Have that guy not on the board because we don't know if he can buff that card. That's something i got to worry about is it's a 3-3 three, three or 2-2 two, two buff and I need to make sure there's no card on the board for him to do that. Even though I have this taunt in the way, you never know what could go wrong for you. Also, if he has humility, i got to worry about that. 5-4 there. We can weaken and then kill that if we really want, or just let it live there for now. Ah, oh, there's that guy. Okay. I will put down both taunts. Uh, they'll survive. Consecration. No, if he has equality, then I'm in trouble. But let's go ahead and wait. Hmm, we could kill the booty bay, but then they'll both be... Oh, well, no, I'm not going to do that. They'll both die if I do that. I have executions, but I should save those for now. I could kill that, and I have these two taunts. I could kill that, and I have these two taunts. I execute this guy, and then break him down even more with three more damage. Or save this damage for later, just in case I need to break something. Save it for now. We got three taunts here. I don't think he has any magic plus. I mean, damage plus for his consecration to have three damage to kill this guy. We'll see. 
We'll see what comes up next. I don't know what he could do. He could whip out a blade and kill this guy and then kill one of these guys and he'll still be alive with one HP. There's a couple things he can do with the booty bay because these guys don't do enough damage to kill the booty bay. Mm. But uh, this one right here, I would love to hit that against him because then he'll be a 5-2 taunt. That'd be something to be scared about on the Consecration. We'll kill it. But right now, I don't know what he's thinking about. He's got all these cards, 8 mana. He's got to have something good he can do in his hand. He just hasn't done it. Ooh, Stormwind. Now I'm in trouble. Now I'm in trouble there. Now it's going to require two people to do that for sure. Now he can go ahead and just kill that card like nothing. Now I really want to execute that card. Alright, I'm just going to come up next with a question there. Is it Divine Shield? Oh my god. Well, I can still kill that with Execute. I don't care about the Divine Shield. Divine Shield is ignored by Execute. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We need Charge. We need 10 mana to do that combination, so we can't do that yet. Execute this guy. There we go. Now we're going to go ahead and just break on through, do a bunch of damage here. Because neither of these guys will survive this situation, so they do that. And uh, let's just do a rush down for now. Rush down for now, get the Arcanite out, and get myself armor. And there we go. Unless he kills these cards, which he can do next turn, uh, I'm going to kill him. But in two turns, if he doesn't get a taunt, I'm going to put down these guys, which will not kill him, but will hurt him like hell. Then again, I do have the Arcanite to finish him off as well, so we'll see what happens here. He needs a taunt. Holy crap! That is a cool card. If he dies 5-3 Ashbringer, he's a taunt. I need to get that guy out of the way. I do have an Execute. We are going to try to execute that card, but we don't have the means to it just yet. Oh, wow. That is an interesting card there. Okay. We have to hit him twice, and then he gives that guy a card, but at least he'll be dead. Even though he'll have this nice thing, at least he'll be this guy will be dead. He'll give a 5-3 Ashbringer, though. But still, at least he'll be dead. That's the thing. So how do we do this? It doesn't matter. Wait. Either way, this guy's going to die. We have to use him no matter what. So we're just going to go ahead and just use him now. Then use the Whirlwind. And then kill him. There we go. And now we're going to eat the damage off this guy or do damage to him. See, that's a nice card there. Do damage to him or eat the damage from this guy. We're going to get hit no matter what, so eat the damage from this guy. So at least that's gone now. That damage is gone. There we go. That damage is gone. Next turn comes 9 damage plus this, so next turn is 14 damage. If he does not have a taunt, he loses. That's what happens next turn. If he has no taunt, I win. This is a taunt, isn't it? It's not a taunt. Okay, he's still got 5 mana though. He's still got 5 mana. He's got to have a taunt. He heals himself. I no longer win the match. I'm only going to hurt him like hell. Not good. Now I gotta rely on what the next card may be. Oof, got some good damage there. Rushing him down's not gonna win it now. I have to just kill these things now. So, mm, Shoot. What am I gonna do here? I can't kill him anymore. He healed himself for six. I have to hope a taunt shows up. We need one. We need a taunt right now. That is not what we need right now. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take some bad damage from a five. I'm gonna take five damage. I don't have a taunt. I don't have a taunt. Bring this guy to draw some fire. All I can do is use that guy to draw some fire. Use her to get these two to do some damage really quick because I'm gonna need them to do some damage. And then I'm I will not have the helm attack anymore. But at least the board will have less things on the board. He's got so many cards right now for me to worry about. I just don't have enough damage to win this right now. I can clear out two things. Doing it, doing it. We can probably clear her out if we do this right. So do this. They both take damage, so it makes him a 4-4, right? Yeah. Clear her out. Clear out. There we go. That's done. And now I give myself armor. And do I want to risk that thing being alive? I don't... Okay. Just hit him. Just hit him. We gotta try to rush him down. He's got five cards though. He's probably got another heal card. I am in a bad spot now. This is not good. He's weak in that. Consecration coming up. Consecration coming up. Oosh. Now I gotta rely on my next card to survive this. 
Uh, Booty Bay shows up. That's bad for me. I'm going to take five. I lose next turn unless I get a taunt. That is not a taunt. I do not lose. Do I? Let's see here. Yep, I lost. Oh, played. I lost this match. Shoot! That is unfortunate. Alright, we were close, but he got that healing card at the right time and saved his day. So now we are 1 1 right now. Let's see if. Can we win the final one? Let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna see you there. Oh, lucky us! We get to fight another Gul'dan. Okay. So here we go. <laughs> There's all our card draws, which would have been great last freaking game. You gotta be kidding me, we never got these freaking cards. Oh man, well let's hold on to them this time so we can use them. We'll whip her out in two turns and then whip these out in another turn. But we got nothing the first turn. These cards would have been a life's a freaking godsend last game because I could have maybe gotten thing finished sooner. Could have gotten some charges in a lot earlier. Did not happen. Put this out. There we go. Get another card. We got charge now. That's good. We can that could be useful at some point. But man, we could have won that last game. I think could have been a lot closer than it was. Uh, we could have actually won that thing, but it didn't happen. Let's go ahead and put out this guy for taunt. Do damage there. We'll get him built off of her and see if he can survive long enough to actually use his enrage. Be great if we could, but we'll see. What? Oh! Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, now we can use him on that. Actually, we'll just use her on that and use him on that. Then we'll kill those two. Then it'll just be a 2-3 on the board. Let's see what can happen here. We're going to, of course, use this to draw. Uh-oh, what's this? Oh, okay. Well, then I'll just use him against that. Okay. There you go, strengthening this card. Do that. Do that. Probably should have finished her off my bed. And br bring her up. I think I did the math wrong on how much HP she had. Okay, we already have a 7 mana attack now, so that'll be useful. But this guy dies next turn, so they... Yeah, he's dead. Oh, he dies at the end of my turn. Okay, so that guy's dead, and now I put myself in a bad position because I accidentally put the wrong card against the wrong card. I had to finish that off. Take one. I'm going to take three damage. Or No, okay, they clearly they do that. And that goes down. Okay. I put myself in a bad spot on that one on accident. Whoops. Let's go ahead and... We can execute him with a weaken. Do we want to do that or not? Mm. Let's see here. We may. Draw another card. Okay, we got to execute. Yeah, okay, let's just use it. We have an execute. Use her and... Yeah, execute him so he doesn't do anything next turn. So there we go. I'm gonna get hit for three damage at least next at least that much next turn, unless he puts more right here. Oh, what's gonna be my sixth move? Probably just gonna put down the booty bay. Another one. Yeah, probably gonna put down the booty bay to protect me. Yeah, putting down the booty bay, which will kill that and survive as long as it doesn't get hit more than that. Booty bay? There we go. And um don't really need to rush him. We'll use her to weaken him. No, we don't need to weaken him. Um, okay, let's see here. Okay, so Goldown has three HP damage cards. Well, he hurts everything for three. He also has a card where he can... He also has a card that does one damage that will kill and draw a card if he gets killed that way. We have to hold back. We'll kill him with that and then kill that with that. And then she'll have two HP and he'll have one HP. Crap. Four damage? Dang, he got the Shadow Bolt. Forgot about the Shadow Bolt. So he has at least one more of those I got to worry about. Oh, that's going to hurt a lot. I'm getting rushed down pretty well by, the, by Goldon. Oh man, I'm getting beat. Uh-oh, this is not looking too good right now. Finally, we get Cleave though. So we're going to use her to kill that. And then, well, the boy, we can't do that. Oosh, all right. We gotta kill that. We gotta hope we kill that. So let's do it this way. No, that didn't work out. Now did it. We're gonna have to execute him and put down the... Okay, okay. Forget it, forget it. He can't kill. Okay, let's see. Uh, put down the taunt. And... Ah, uh, do we want to weaken him this turn? Shoot, I'm playing wrong, aren't I? I'm doing something wrong. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I'm doing something wrong. We want to weaken him? We weaken him. Yeah, weaken him. Hey, give me a minute. So now he has to kill himself on that wall. So that at least does that. 
Now we have, uh, uh, we are at a gross disadvantage right now, going 19 right now. I don't, this thing will even it up a little bit, but until we get to that point, we are in, oh crap. Alright, so he has, he has to have the three damage card right now he's going to do. Is, he, is that what he's going to do? He has to, or does he have the one damage card? I hope you like my invention. Or is he trying to draw for it? What's he trying to do here? Okay, he's doing something. He's laying out a lot of... There's the one damage card. There that is. And now we're going to kill the wall. We're going to kill the... We got to kill this Yeti now. Okay. Oh, that'd be nice once again, Arcanite. But okay, let's see here. Well, shoot. I'm in a bad position here. I give myself... Uh, put down seven mana there. Take out this guy using him, but then he'll die as well. Don't want to do that. Use the execute, execute, but then he doesn't have enough damage to do with it. She's not useful for this one right now. We gotta do some clearing. Do some clearing. Kill that. Die on that. Execute that. We don't have any damage that we can handle right now. Execute. He's only got two cards right now. Well, we got an advantage of four, so. Maybe we can make something happen. In two turns, we can do these two in a combination instead of this and save this for something else. Save that for her, maybe. Yeah, that'll be good if we get an Arcanite. But he's now he's at four cards, so we don't have an advantage anymore. There goes a two damage and heal him back for two. Then he's going to do that for two, one more damage. Two more damage. I'm in a very bad position right now. I need another taunt right now. There's a taunt. Booty Bay helps me out a little bit there. There we go. You know, look. Actually, I probably should have put her down so he could kill one of these two car cards right now. Whoops. Yeah, I could give him charge, but I don't want to give him charge. So I made a mistake there. I don't want to put her down because I need the, the, the battle cry. So I'm in a very bad situation here. And it's my own dang fault. And he gets to draw another card. Holy crap, I'm in trouble. Four damage. Oh my god. Holy crap, I'm in big trouble here. One. Okay, so there goes my armor. Three more. I'm at 11 here. He's drawing another card. He can afford to because he's got so much HP here. Okay, we've got the Fire Axe, which is not the best weapon to have right now. But it may be our only choice. So let's go ahead and just... We can just... Oh, no. We need one more mana for what I want to do. So let's just put this guy out now. I can give myself armor and just clear one of them off right now. Let's give myself armor. Clear her off. There we go. That's gone. Okay, that's gone. Now I can make this a 5-3. And then it... No, it... Yeah, then it'll be able to attack. So we can do that. Make it a 5-3. That will die next turn. Drawing is, a, is fire, though. So... Kill that. And then these two can kill each other next turn if I really want. And that's that. And now I can still do this this combination right here. Not the best combination though. He's got card advantage. He's got HP advantage. I am very much in trouble. Stormwind shows up. I'm in very, very big trouble here. I can only do so much damage. I could kill the Stormwind, but then I lose all my cards at this point if I do that. This is a very bad situation. I am in. in. I am in. I need a better card right now. I need a taunt right now to save my ass. <laughs> Holy crap, I need a taunt. I need a, I need a taunt to save me. He just kills that. Oh, well, I'm gonna kill her next turn anyway. You know what I need? Whirlwind. My god, heart of the cards. I got the whirlwind. Okay. Whirlwind. Heart of the cards. Woo. Now let's go for some freaking damage up on this thing, huh? Hold on, it's not over yet. I gotta hit you with everything I've got right now. He's got a two card advantage on me right now. I got nothing. I have to just rely on the heart of the cards to win the rest of this match right now. Holy crap. Evened it up, but he's got three cards, so it's not even. I got a beast on the board, but now he's got... Okay, that's gonna hurt. Okay, now what's he gonna do? He's, he's got a two damage? He's got... Oh, he used both his hellfires. It evens us up on HP, but he has a card advantage on me. And that charge doesn't mean Jack Diddley this turn. Whenever Beast comes out, if it's the if it's the Hellhound, he loses unless he puts down a taunt. Because this charge will give to whatever. 
Now that's not a good sign for me. I lose next turn unless it's the Hellhound. That ain't the Hellhound. And that will not save me next turn. So I'm going to take... Oh man, that's a lot of damage next turn. Do this. So there's the question. Will charge... Uh, charge will not save me. Give him charge and it hurts her. She's down and I will take only 5 damage. Right now I will take 8 damage. Gotta rely on the heart of the cards here. Gotta rely on the heart of the cards to win this match. We do not know what that card is. It could be the end. Holy crap, that is the end next turn guaranteed. There it is. Will he sit? Will he use... Will he use anything? No, he won't. Okay, because he will die if he does. And we win! Well played. played. Holy crap! Heart of the cards. Give him charge. Heart of the freaking cards. Give me armor just in case here. One and two! Done! Holy crap! That is the heart of the cards right there. We got saved at the last minute. And that happens way too much in this game. Oh my god. That was close. Same thing, though, happened in the second match where the Heart of the Cards saved that Paladin because we so had his ass. But there you go. That is the third and final game. So, try it out this deck. I definitely like it. it. It has some luck to it, of course. Like, all card decks have some luck to it. But it has some good combinations that we can take advantage of with the charge. And I like it. I like it a lot. So, I think this is definitely a keeper here. I still got to work on a Paladin deck and a Warlock deck and a Shaman and Druid deck. Definitely going to replace this one with this one. But there we go. I now have a warrior deck I can rely on. That was awesome. And right now, that is the game. I had fun. Hope you had fun watching. And that's what it's all about, is it? Having fun. Thanks for coming by and see you next time.